go and cycle Them on my bed like Michael Can't really trust nobody With all this jewelry on you My roof look like a no show Got diamonds by the boy Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Casey and if you are new here, I would love for you to take one quick second, go down below and hit that subscribe button and click the little bell button so you'll never miss when I post a new video. Today I'm finally going to be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine. I will say that most of my products are high-end products just because I'm just kind of bougie. <laughs> but just know that you don't have to use these exact products. These are just the products that I use in the order that I use them and the products that I love. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so I have already filled in my brows. I have to do my brows off camera just because they take so much time and effort. But I do have a very, very old brow routine on my channel that I still use these same exact products and the same exact technique. I just used my Benefits Goof Proof Brow Pencil and my MAC Velvet Brow Liner. And then I just cleaned them up with my MAC NC45 Studio Finish Concealer. Very quick and very simple, just very hard to film. <laughs> so for primers, I actually like to use two primers. I like to use this Giorgio Armani Fluid Master Primer as well as this Murad SPF Primer. These are both very pricey primers, but they work so well together. They make my skin feel so nice and smooth. Plus, I have to use SPF during the day because I use a retinol cream at night. They also help to really smooth my pores and to help prevent oil production as well. Skin prep is super, super, super important to me because I don't really do a lot of crazy eye looks. I really like to focus on making my skin look as perfect as possible. So my all-time favorite foundation that matches my skin perfectly, that keeps my makeup on fleek all day, is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup Foundation, and I am in the shade Sandalwood. And I like to mix this with my Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer. This is basically kind of like a fluid highlighter. It just helps to add some extra glow to the foundation, and it makes my skin look so good. So I just take the foundation, I put it on on the back of my hand. This is actually a brand new bottle because I just ran out, so. Then I just take my Nude Air Luminizer and I literally just put a couple drops on top of it. And my absolute favorite foundation brush is the Sigma Flat Kabuki. I really like foundation brushes that are very dense like this. It helps to make my foundation go on nice and smooth. So I just mix the foundation and the highlighter on the back of my hand and then apply. And it goes on super smooth with those primers. Like you guys can see, it just kind of melts right into my skin. I also don't really go crazy on the foundation. I don't put too much because I don't really need that much foundation. I really just do the foundation to make my skin nice and even. So I'm, I'm pretty light-handed with my foundation. Okay, so next we have concealer. I like to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and this is in the shade Caramel uh, Medium Dark 2. This is my absolute favorite concealer. It makes my under eyes pop so well. It blends into any foundation like flawlessly. I just like to put this under my eyes, um, on my forehead and on my chin and my highlight areas just to add a little bit of poppage to those areas on my skin. I actually typically don't put a lot of concealer on my forehead because my forehead naturally sticks out so I don't really want to highlight too much there. To blend my concealer all in, I like to use a regular beauty blender. I have a bunch of different sponges that I like but the beauty blender is pretty much my favorite one. But if I had to pick one over the other, I'd probably still pick the beauty blender <laughs> it just really blends my concealer so well so smooth especially this NARS concealer I feel like it works very well with the beauty blender the beauty blender is also damp so I just dampen it with some warm water and then I squeeze out the excess and then blend the concealer into my skin Sometimes I also like to take some of my Smashbox uh, primer water. This is actually the Centering Citrus one. It smells so good. I think it's new for the summer. It's very, very similar to Max Fix Plus. You can basically use it as a primer. You can use it to refresh your makeup. You can use it as a setting spray. I also like to use it like while I'm blending out my concealer just to help it really melt into my skin. So I just spray a little bit onto the beauty blender and then blend it out a little bit more. So next to contour my face, um, I typically go back and forth between the Sephora Make No Mistake Foundation um, and Concealer Stick. This is the darkest shade, it's in the shade Ebony. I will typically only use this when I'm 
really trying to be snatched though because this is a very dark color but like sometimes for my everyday type of looks when I'm not like going out or I'm just looking for something kind of subtle I'll use the Fenty Beauty truffle looks like this it's a little bit lighter and I'm just going to use this today to contour my skin so I really just take it and I put a couple strokes here you can see this color is very subtle on my skin and then I'll do the same thing on the other side. And then I also like to take it around my forehead just to add some color. And then I also contour here, even though my jawline is already extremely, extremely defined. Then I just take that same beauty blender and I blend this out. Okay, so next to set my under eye, I like to use either my La Mercier Translucent in the shade Deep or I use my La Mercier Translucent in the regular translucent color. It pretty much just depends on if I want a really nice highlight under my eyes or if I just want a nice subtle highlight. Today I think I'm going to just go ahead and bake with the translucent one that's a little bit brighter. I'm literally almost out of this as you can see and the top is broken. <laughs> this is so old. I basically just take the beauty blender, I dip it into the powder and then I apply it under my eyes. I don't really bake, I just kind of press it into my skin and I allow it to sit for maybe two or three minutes and then you'll see what I do next where I wipe away the excess with another powder. My favorite bronzer of all time is the Bobbi Brown bronzer in the shade Deep 4. I've been using this for so long and I just like to use my Real Techniques powder brush. Just swirl it around like this, tap off some excess and then I really just bronze the same areas that I contoured. And I take it around the perimeter of my head too, just to give my face some color. And I also take it under my chin. So after bronzing up my skin, I like to go in with one of my Holy Grail powders. This is the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the color Deep 60. And I like to use this basically just to wipe away the excess powder under my eyes. And also to just kind of blend everything together. This powder makes my skin look so nice and smooth. I actually um, found out about it through Alyssa Ashley. She uses it to set her foundation all the time and to like wipe away extra translucent powder. And I can definitely say I love it. It looks amazing amazing in pictures too, like no flashback. So to highlight, I have been loving the M. Reezy Highlighter by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I believe it's in the shade, it doesn't even have a shade I don't think. It's just the M. Reezy Highlighter. It is super, super smooth. It feels almost like a butter when you touch it with the brush. I just like to apply it with my Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. And I just apply it to the high points of my face. I'll take some down the bridge of my nose and also a little bit on my cubic's bow. Next for blush, I like to use this NARS Unfiltered One Palette. I think that this was actually a limited edition palette. I got it at Nordstrom a little while ago. But I love, 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 love this palette. It has such a variety of colors. Actually, NARS has some of the best blushes ever. And I just like to mix these two colors, me first and and out here and I also actually don't apply the blush directly to my cheek I like to apply it a little bit higher because my cheekbones are pretty high so I kind of just blend the blush kind of into the highlighter a little bit so next for my eyes I rarely wear eyeshadow I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this but I literally rarely wear eyeshadow I don't know why I just don't really like the way it looks on my eyes because my eyes are so big it kind of closes them a little bit but I like them to look more wide and open sometimes just to add some depth to my crease I will go in with just like a light brown color like this one this is from the NARS loaded palette I believe it's the color Castile and I just take a regular blending brush this is by MAC this is MAC 224 and I literally just take a little bit of that brown into my crease like, when I say a little bit, I mean like, that's it. <laughs> Just to make it look like I have on a lot of shadow because my eyelids are so big. And like I said, to add some depth into my crease. Sometimes if I feel like it, I will put on maybe like a gold color or something like that on my lid. But today... I also rarely ever do like a wing liner or a liner on my eye 
just because my eyes are big so I like them to look big when I apply eyeliner up there it makes them look smaller but I do like to apply eyeliner on my waterline and I like to use the Maybelline New York unstoppable eyeliner in onyx it's a very nice dark black liner and it goes on very very nice and smooth and I also like it because it doesn't run I find that with a lot of my other eyeliners it actually will run down my eyes throughout the day and I hate that so this one stays in place I don't think it's necessarily waterproof but it works pretty well throughout the day since I just got my lashes done like last week I don't really need to put mascara on or put on fake lashes I also rarely wear lipstick or anything on my lips I really just have been loving my Fenty gloss balm I wear this almost every single day even when I don't wear makeup I wear this but especially on my makeup days it's just the perfect clear gloss it's it has like a little pink tint tint to it but it's still very transparent I also love that it's not sticky it won't feel sticky throughout the day this has literally become my everyday lip and last but not least I like to finish it all off with my cover FX illuminizing setting spray I love this setting spray so much I feel like it really just helps to add that extra glow to my skin I also really love the pump I feel like it disperses so well I feel like it also helps to make my makeup last longer too so that is pretty much it for my everyday makeup routine as you guys can see I pretty much just do what I need to do to enhance my natural features I don't really put a lot on one thing I will say about perfecting your everyday makeup routine it's really important to customize it to yourself so I wouldn't necessarily watch YouTube videos trying to copy someone's exact face routine you have to practice on yourself and figure out what it is that you like on yourself everybody's perfect makeup routine is different depending on your facial features depending on your skin type and it's really important to understand that so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up those will really help me out don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and of course follow me on my social media and hopefully I will see you guys all in my next video Bye.